Moving on to the topic of talent, we know that the war for talent is real and having the right talent strategy is essential for organizations to stay ahead. Having managed large, complex international teams, what's your philosophy in hiring and cultivating high-performing teams? Getting a right fit is the most important. Finding people is always a challenge. There is always demand for top talent and therefore the challenge for us is always once you get them on board is to find enough of a career path and interesting things to keep your talents with you. It's never just pure dollar and cents. I mean obviously you need to reward them for what they are doing but at the same time you need to keep them um, mentally challenged especially the very good ones and also I personally find that um, Having a very strong team culture where it is very cohesive actually can also help bind the people to your team because it becomes less of a push factor. And I mean, whether you like it or not in, at work, there's bound to be frictions. So if the team is generally cohesive, but when there comes to disagreement on work matters, you know, it doesn't blow up and there's more teamwork to be able to get around those issues try and build people from there and from various backgrounds. I, I always keep an open mind. I take technical capability as a given up to a certain level. And therefore, when I'm looking for people to join the team, I tend to look for the softer attributes such as characters and attitude, which actually can make or break someone regardless of their actual academic talent. I'm hearing three different themes culture, diversity, and soft skills. Perhaps I can elaborate more about uh, having diverse talent. Um, essentially, it's very easy for organizations to hire people from the same industry because it's easier to adapt to reporting requirements and industry nuances. However, that might perpetuate groupthink and there's a danger of um, solving problems the same old way. So what we encourage organizations to do is to broaden the talent pool, look beyond the immediate industry that they are in, maybe adjacent industries or industries with, which has best practices in terms of finance function. And you know, they could bring something new to the table. And one example that I've done uh, recently uh, was placing a candidate from a pharmaceutical industry into a logistics business. So the impact that the individual brought to the table was tremendous because he was very customer centric. He was very focused on getting um, the operations right um, and, and lifting up the morale of, of the organization because he was handling a much bigger team. And then he was uh, subsequently uh, asked to do a role that is uh, managing a smaller team. So he was very used to um, inculcating the right culture, the right beliefs, and really setting the organization up for success with a high-performing team. Just to add to your point on soft skills, organizations are getting larger, more and more complex, and more international. So the ability to gain trust, gain credibility quickly when you join an organization is so crucial. That's where you get the resources, you get the right data to make decisions, and that will help your team make better decisions moving forward. I think overall, if you have a good attitude, you have the right uh, spirit towards uh, teamwork, I think that will help uh, cultivate a high-performing culture as well. I myself cross industry, right? Um, from manufacturing to healthcare, which is totally different because once it's um, manufacturing based with factories everywhere, and the other one is actually a service provider where you know people are the assets of the organizations versus a whole lot of bricks and mortar. Um, the reality of it, actually, there's not a whole lot of difference when you are hiring people from a background perspective. I mean, yes, it is helpful and people tend to go back to their comfort zone. But if you hire people with the right attitude, a can-do attitude where, you know, it's just where they don't say that I've not done this before and therefore I'm not able to do it. But if they're willing to find out, there's lots of answers out there either from professional advisors, even if you were to go to the internet and Google, there's lots of ways to find your ways around um, 
I've not found crossing industry to be a challenge personally. I found it extremely interesting because, you know, you, you learn a new way of people thinking, new way of measurements and very, very enriching personally. And after hiring them, as you mentioned, the key is to keep them within the organization, right? And having purposeful leadership, um, having a thought of their career uh, trajectory, giving them motivations to, to push out of their comfort zone is definitely uh, something that we try and encourage our clients as well to, to create a retention culture. Thank you. In total agreement with you on that.